Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am your friend Kevin and I am here with my friends Freddie the Teddy and Patrick the Bear and this is your card of the day. All right, so we are using the Guardian Angel Messages Tarot this week by Radley Valentine, um, images by Dan Craig. Um, and I pulled the Emperor on Sunday, uh, last Sunday, uh, with Archangel Uriel, the Archangel of Stability, Efficiency, and taking charge of each and every situation. Basically, ambitious plans. Now, interestingly enough, today is the first day of November 2023. So it's a one with an 11, with a 2023, if you add all those numbers together and then reduce it to the single digit, you get a one. Uh, so this is a number one day. And in angel numerology, that is brand new beginnings, a punch of masculine energy, ambitions, uh, motivations, um, magical manifestations. So in other words, put your goals, your dreams, and your wishes in the bucket and pour over that sense of drive, ambition, in knowledge, the knowing. Knowledge is the knowing. No, knowledge is, I got it, I can do it. And then my isms that go with this is, it's not what you show, it's how you show up. It's the approach with which you go through life. It's how determined you are to get things done and to overcome the challenges. Then the other one is everything I say and do leads me to more greatness. So um, we don't always pay attention to what we're saying and what we're doing. We just say it and do it and go with it. And that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Spontaneity is sometimes the spice of life. It is that little ingredient in the soup that makes it taste that just that little bit different. Anyway, let's get right on with the card of the day and see how it all fits in. Uh, great Father in the sky, loving kind Mother of the earth, angels, ancestors, light beings from the, all the four corners and all the realms, I welcome you here and give thanks to be your messenger. I set the intention to see, to feel, to hear and to know your sacred words and to deliver a message in such a way that it enlightens, inspires, heals and has the ability to change the lives of those who come. So be it, and so shall it be. Whoop, there's one that flopped out. So I'm going to read it. Ten of fire. Oh, Lord, here we go. Now listen. <laughs> oh, yeah, I hear you, Gertrude. She says, oh, goodness gracious me, look. <laughs> Stop it. Um, ten of fire. Okay, so it would appear that we have our person here that is saying, I'm feeling stressed, I'm feeling overworked, <laughs> the dishes <laughs> piling up in the sink, and blah, 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 overwork, stress, and out of balance. Okay, all right, fire is an action card. It is um, wands in the traditional tarot. Uh, it is that... We've got to do something. We've got to do it now. There's an intensity about the energy that may or may not be whirling around you. I will say that you kind of came out of October with some of this. Uh, so we've got this new month and we have this, 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 this card. What the emperor is saying, just get organized. Just take one thing at a time right here on the table, right here is a coin, a gift, and a blessing from the universe. And right in the basket, all nicely organized, are the guardian angels just sitting there, all ten of them, saying, you're not asking for help. So this card is going out to all the control freaks who don't want to delegate, who are just thinking that they've got it, they've got it, yeah, I've got it, thank you very much, I've got it, I've got it, not asking for help. This is telling you that life is really not as bad as you are making it out to be. If you were in that elk, if you're doing that, if you are a um, 
feeling it's a little heavy. And and I get it. I totally get it. You know, the bills are coming in and there's a trickle of income. Well, you have to show up as if there's more than a trickle of income. You have to show up and talk in 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 abundance you know you can say i don't have any money you could say that but you could certainly say at the moment i'm a little strapped however money's on the way or you could say i'm going to need a little bit of extra time to settle this bill that's even better uh i'm going to settle this bill in perfect divine timing because you want to get the intention i'm just using this as a an example let me talk a little bit more about november yes gertrude i know <laughs> <It's saying. laughs> okay she's <laughs> but <laughs> gertrude is saying that <laughs> that poor woman needs some help right now her kitchen's a mess <laughs> oh my god overwork stress i get it okay not enough sleep okay goodness right so in november this month i will take my energetic medicine i will live and let live and i will be responsible just repeat that one more time i will take my energetic medicine live and let live and i'll be responsible you know as november begins we're completely out of the eclipse season of 2023. And you need to ask yourself how you're feeling. What's going on with you? Did you manage to do some really powerful energetic work? And if you did, this is probably what's going on. You want a bit of a rest. Sometimes what life dishes up can be really difficult to take. But the more we swim in the stream and go with the tide and live and let live and accept everything that comes and use what comes as a springboard for growing then life begins to become a little easier now i'm going to admit october was a doozy so november should be a little bit nicer we don't have any eclipses we don't have any of that rough stuff. Uh, time to live and let live, I think, right now. As we've come through this year, 2023, it's been a big lesson for all of us. And I think that's a culmination of the last few, few, few years. And this is why this card is so important. This is a card that's saying you've got to the end of your tether. You've done your hard work. Your sleeves are rolled up. Keep going. Now, when we bring energy from one month into the next, there's a little bit of some of that charge that's still there. And, you know, according to Yasmin Bolin, there's an intense Mars clash with Uranus in the middle of the month. So, you know, her caution is to be careful how you go about the second week of November. Then she thinks the energies are going to be pretty um, intense. And some people might not be minding their own business, their own P's and Q's. They might be inserting themselves in your business. Be careful. And then, you know, towards the end of November, we've got a bit of an upset with Saturn which Saturn and Mars, you know, there's lessons coming your way. And Saturn is telling us to pay attention, be a bit more grown up, be a bit more responsible, to, you know, just get into sort of a, a way of structured uh, organisation. You know what? The other thing I want to say is if somebody's giving you uh, a bit of a... Let me go back over this camera. Sorry, I got carried away. Um, whoops. Where are we? Oh, there we go. Sorry, I had to turn it off. If someone's giving you a little bit of a um, a tough time, and that happens, you know, light workers, people that come, people that are part of spirituality, people that are looking for something deeper, bigger, loving, kind, that sort of energy is how we show up. We can sometimes attract the ones who 
sort of want it but don't necessarily want to do the work to get it and they're still caught up in that um plethora of problems hmm. uh <laughs> gertrude would say well that's <laughs> not you that's not your mess to mop up <laughs> that's one way of looking at it but you can also look at it like you know give people their space um i think when we're empaths when we're healers when we want to go help people the idea is to dive right in and get in but that might not be the greatest thing you can do um holding space is the greatest thing you can do uh um you know exercising a little bit of compassion this month we're in the month of thanksgiving um and I also feel like for me personally, I like to, you know, look at my cloudy side, look at my shadow side, look at, oh, this wasn't the greatest thing I could have done, but I'm going to look at it and see what can I gain from it. And more importantly, why did it happen? Uh, because those things help to heal. If you can look at it, that wasn't such the greatest thing. Why did it happen? Now I'm going to go work on ways to where that doesn't repeat itself. You know, there isn't a shadow when you shine the light in it. There isn't a problem when you look at it face to face. It's only a problem up in here. It's only a problem with the idea we think what we think, we think what we think, and next thing we know we're, we're unraveling a, a, a ball of yarn and it's a big mess. No, no, it isn't a big mess. Life is going to come at all of us. Ten of fire. This is the life coming at this woman. She doesn't think, you know, she can take any more. She's done all she can possibly do. But her angels and spirit are saying, we see you, we get you, we love you. Just pick yourself up, dust yourself off, put your best foot forward. And the emperor, Archangel Uriel, says, well, girl, you need to ask me for help. I'm going to come and help you. I'm going to send the people that are going to come in and clean up that kitchen, <laughs> mop up that floor. <laughs> <laughs> uh you know <laughs> they're gonna send in the maid service i don't know i'm just being silly sorry um that's just miss gertrude saying nothing's so bad you can't fix it and that's really what it is nothing is so terrible can't be fixed it's all temporary all right my friends that's it for today i love you thanks for liking and subscribing and doing all the reviews that you do this is all helping um until tomorrow, big love, lots of hugs and kisses. Bye for now.